Now the next measure of central tendency identified in the branch of statistics is MOT. Mean, MOT and median. So let's start with MOT. Mean is the average of the data and then let's see what is the basic definition of the second measure of central tendency which is MOT. So definition of MOT. The data which occurs most number of times is called the mode. So in this case, we call the mode as the data which or the observation here, the more specific word is the observation which occurs most number of times or most frequently. To start with an example problem, let's understand mode in a more better fashion. If suppose I have a cricket match as a real life example connected with the mode, let's see how mode is understood through a cricket match. A bowler takes The following wickets, the following number of wickets in 10 matches. That is, I have 2, 6, 4, 5, 0, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3. Now, in this case, it is clearly given that the bowler takes. In the first match, he takes two wickets. In the second match, he takes six wickets. In the third match, four wickets. In the fifth match, he doesn't take any wickets. Not a good performance here. And then finally, in the tenth match, he takes three wickets. Now, I want to understand this problem through the mode. The basic mathematical or the statistical measure of central tendency called the mode. So let's see how we understand this problem through the mode. Now, as we see the definition, it clearly says that mode is the observation which occurs most number of times therefore let's follow through the definition and identify the value of the given scores or the given wickets of each of the matches so as i see here clearly i have the data here which i'm going to write in order the first thing which is very important out here is arranging the mode in a definitive order whether increasing or decreasing or ascending or descending order so in this case, I arrange the data in two, three, I have threes, two threes, one four and one five and 1-6 finally. So all the 10 matches, all the wickets are taken in different order. Now we identify that performance which has most number of wickets taken. So as I clearly see that 2 is repeating more number of times. Therefore, here we identify by the definition of the observation which is most number of times as mode. We identify that the mode is 2 strictly by this definition. When the mode is 2, what does this mean in real life is the biggest question out here in case of mode. What do I mean by these values which lead to 2? What do, what do you mean by understanding that mode is 2? That is, when I take the match or the real life situation of a bowler taking the following wickets in 10 matches, mode equal to 2 implies the bowler takes... two wickets for most number of times for most number of times in the 10 matches is how we understand through the mode it's very important to understand mode in real life because the value of the mode will make us predict on 
the most number of times that the player or the bowler in this case takes two wickets in 10 matches. So his performance mostly has been taking two wickets in each of the cricket match which has been played by the bowler. This is how we understand more connected with real life situation. So let's see how we can calculate the mode for the group data. That is the data which is grouped into different class intervals. Now let's take the same problem as we have discussed in the previous session where I have taken the class interval of all the marks as obtained by the students in the class for the subject of mathematics, the maximum marks being 100. So here I have the class interval with the class length of each class interval being 15 and frequency of each of the class as given in the second column. Now to find the mode for such group data we have a specific and an exclusive formula which we calculate using the mode which is given by the formula L plus F1 minus F0 by 2 times of F1 minus F0 minus F2 times of H is the formula which I exclusively use in finding the mode for the group data. So let's see what each of L, H, F1, F0 and F2 stand in the respective definitions. To start with L, L is called the lower limit of the model class. <laughs> so L is called the lower limit of the model class and of course H is called the class size or the size of the class interval which is 15 of course here as taken in the, even in the previous problems. Now F1 is the frequency of model class. So frequency of model class is denoted by F1 and F0 is frequency of preceding class. So preceding class in the sense the class which is above the model class that frequency is considered as F0 and F2 is the frequency of succeeding model class succeeding class that is the class which is below the model class is the frequency of that class which is below the model class is F2. <laughs> so let's see how we can calculate each of LH, F0, F1 and F2 for this group data as an example problem. Now coming to this let's see how we can find the mode of this group data using this formula. As I find here now the model class is the class which has the highest frequency. For a group data because the frequency is highest here this class is called the model class. Generally the model class is identified with its highest value of the frequency and that class stands for the model class. So in this case my L is lower limit of the model class therefore as I see here my model class being 40 to 45 this is the lower limit 40 and 55 is the upper limit so L is what I require therefore in this problem my L is 40 the lower limit of the model class similarly my H is the class size which I can clearly see is 15 the length of the class or the class interval is 15 so my H is 15 my F1 is frequency of model class as I see that the model class is clearly in the third row therefore this is the frequency of the model class therefore my F1 is 7. Similarly my F0 is the frequency of preceding class therefore this being the model class my preceding class frequency is 3 and my succeeding class frequency is 6 therefore this stands for F0 and F2 for 6 therefore my F0 is 3 and my F2 is 6 is how we extract using the basic definitions in the formula. So substituting each of these in the formula therefore my mode which is L plus F1 minus F0 by 2F1 minus F0 minus F2 times H 
I substitute each of L which stands for 40 plus F1 which is 7 minus F0 which is 3 by 2 times of F1 which is 2 times of 7 minus F0 which is 3 minus F2 which is 6 times of 15 because times of H is times 15. Therefore, when I simplify this, I get this to be 40 plus 7 minus 3 which is 4 and 14 minus 9 is 5 times 15, 5 ones, 5 threes. So this is 40 plus 2L which is 52. Therefore, mode of the given class interval table or the group data is 52. So we identify the mode of the class to be 52 is how we identify.